ready for a new mobile OS that's not Android or iOS and wants to make the web more open and connected? No, this is not Deja Vu, nor is it Ubuntu Mobile. It's Firefox. Yes, an entire mobile OS built around the third most popular web browser, behind Chrome and IE. But what actually makes Firefox different? Well, it's an open, immersive web app experience. I'm going to swipe to the left here, and I'm going to do a search. I'm going to search for the movie Skyfall. And what you'll see is my phone immediately transforms itself. Now it's all about movies. It's really dynamic. So I get access to you know, movie review websites. I can buy tickets with Fandango. I can read about it on Wikipedia, IMDb. What's interesting here is I may never have seen those applications before. They're shown to me in real time based on what I care about. So this is a really new way of thinking about how the web meets apps to give you something new and amazing. We think users are going to love this because it's instant gratification based on what you want when you want it. The OS is based on HTML5 and JavaScript, and it does have a suite of apps pre-installed. The usual suspects like Facebook, Twitter, Airbnb, and Foursquare, but Firefox has much bigger plans in store with their marketplace. To take that further, Firefox wants to make the web the world's largest app marketplace, saying on their blog, the open web platform and these new web APIs also enable developers to distribute apps directly. They say, for example, that users will be able to use apps once without installing it, giving you a chance to preview the content using the web and without downloading. And you can test it out now. There's a Firefox extension called the Firefox OS Simulator you can add on to the browser if you either already use it or are willing to try it out. The simulator shows you a very basic preview version of the OS, which is definitely an OS. It's not totally clear, at least based on the preview, what the installation process will look like for these web apps, but a number of companies are confident enough in the potential of Firefox OS to sign on as partners. ZTE, for instance, will be selling the first phone running Firefox OS, the ZTE Open. This morning, Sony announced that they would sell a Firefox device in 2014. They are the fifth company to announce a partnership with Mozilla on this one, along with ZTE, Alcatel, LG, and Huawei. The Mozilla phones are expected in the U.S. in 2014, but it's likely that these are aimed in part at emerging markets. In a blog post, Mozilla says the first wave will be out in Brazil, Colombia, Hungary, Mexico, Montenegro, Poland, Serbia, Spain, and Venezuela. So what do you guys think? Would you use a phone running Firefox OS? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe. For TFN, this is Annie.